You know what? Uh, I got a couple stories involving freaks, too. Ooh, okay. Story in the news about this woman in Arkansas. Her name is uh, Candace. She works at a mortuary. That's Ravy's dream. I, <laughs> I, I could do that job. But uh, she doesn't work there anymore because she got busted selling 20 boxes of body parts to this freak show looking guy that she met through Facebook, an Ooh. oddities group. Facebook. Oh, on yeah, Facebook. Be doing that. Look at this guy. Wow. Oh Look my at, God. I mean, wow. Look at this like guy. a collection of kidneys and stuff. Not <laughs> right. surprising. I mean, half of his face and all of his neck is tatted up. Oof. Piercings that look like spikes on the top of his head, dark colored contacts. He huge, looks like a devil. Huge yes. gauges in his ears. I mean, he's yeah, he's trying to look like some kind of demon, I guess. Yeah, he, he pulled it to, off. Perfect yeah. to host the freak show. He yeah. made it work. His name is Jeremy. Jeremy. Anyway, uh, Candace's job was to cremate remains. Okay. But then she was offering to sell Jeremy body parts, and she oh sold him God. a brain, some fetuses. Oh, my God. A big piece of skin, Ugh. hearts, lungs, genitalia, a skull cap, an arm, two oh fake boobs. God. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. In case you're wondering, uh, the going rate for all that, uh-huh. $11,000. Oh, what so, a bargain. Pretty good deal, you know. For genitalia as well? She's uh, looking at a long time in jail. Yeah, wow. I, she's going away. Uh, Jeremy also charged with abuse of a corpse. Oh, my God. Not sure what kind of uh, time that gets you, but they should call the exterminator for this guy. He looks like a yeah, cockroach. They should. Yeah. This, yeah. this is the guy that you get rid of with, a, that, with an exterminator. Yeah. That's... You call a guy, they come, they spray, <laughs> uh-huh. you know. <laughs> The Facebook Marketplace. How dumb are you? Yeah. I know. Could that be more out in the open? Right. Idiot moron. You, no, know, I don't. You, you didn't even dark web that? I don't think yeah. she sold it on Marketplace. She met him in an oddities yeah, group. Yeah, the Facebook mm. oddities group. Some oh. weird group. And then. Like, hey, anybody got any uh, access to, yeah, to body it. parts? <laughs> to uh, genitalia? Yeah, weirdo. I'm just imagine cutting some poor dead guy's wang off. I and how know. do you, like, and okay, so. Selling it. <sighs> and that can't be easy to get off a body. So like your friends or a family member, they have a new baby boy, and you know it's like, oh my god, let me say, oh he's so cute, and he's little oh. Jeremy, and then he, then he gets older, and you know, he's a couple years old, and he's playing with fire trucks, and oh man, he likes to watch the construction guys and their trucks up. and things mm-hmm. like that. How does it go from that to this, wrong? right? Yeah, you know, the and, spike coming out of your stupid head. Where right. Where did it go wrong? You run into right. Barbara at the grocery store. How's Jeremy? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let well. me show you his most recent yeah. photo. Yeah. We don't talk to him anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he has devil horns. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. like you know when you decide to get this uh, face tattoo that makes half your face look like you have lizard skin. Yeah. You know, um, like what were you thinking? Thinking this is cool and I'll yeah. be young forever. Is, <laughs> is that one of your biggest fears having kids? Woody, that um, your kid that, it tur- that it, they might turn into this to no, head spikes I mean, and I, I'd like, lizard skin. Look, as long as they're <laughs> right? as long as they're good citizens, you know. I mean, like, you have to have faith in the way that you're raising them. True. Yeah, I know, but and I'm, that they'll do the right thing. Right. Like if you just want to get tattoos and body modifications yeah. and whatever, and you're not hurting anybody. Here's the thing. Uh I don't know what they're gonna do. You know, for a living or whatever. Yeah, they've cemented the fact that they'll never get a normal job. Right. But at the end of the day, as long as they're out of my house and off my payroll, I don't care how the ends are met. You know what I mean? All right. Like Okay, but what if your son shows up like that? I think you would care. No, that's that's their life. This is not a decision I would make. I would be disappointed. But again, out of my house. Off my payroll. If you can still pay your bills and you look like this, <laughs> you're doing like, something you're right. You're doing something right. Well, your son showed up to you. the house and be like, hey, dad. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you can afford $11,000 in body parts, you're doing okay. Yeah. Doing all right. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. True. You yeah. can pay his rent and buy body parts. Yeah. Do you use a firm for that? He's or? doing great. <laughs> no. Yeah. 11 for, for grand. Your mods. Yeah, paid, put it on a plan. Paid all cash. Right. Yeah, eleven Ooh. grand for yeah. <laughs> a brain. So as long as you're a good citizen, meaning that you're not breaking the law and hurting anybody or whatever, I like. I don't. You could tattoo half your face. That would be on them. Uh, yeah. I think. I, I be, told you. I think, I think it's I think easy be, to say that. I told you I would be disappointed. Yeah, I, and I think you'd be pretty embarrassed. Um. No. Oh, yeah. No. I. I would be embarrassed. Like we're all hanging out for right. a barbecue and. In, I'd be making in walks shark with half a tattoo. And then here yeah. comes shark with his. Oh, I'd be making fun of them too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Half like, tatted face. Look at this idiot. Right. Look. Look at his horns. I say that now when he does dumb stuff. Then, yeah. Like, all right, dumb dumb. That was good. All right. Way to go. Oh what? What is it? What? Cap. That's cringe. Right. Yeah. So that could be like, all right, dude, cringe. 
Oh, that's that would be that's cringe. So cringe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you're right. I want to know about this guy's history. Yeah. You ever do that? Like, did he go to school? Right. Was he what was educated his home life? decently? Was mm-hmm. I, I think that about like just regular people, not like freaks like this. If I'm at the you know store and I mm-hmm. see somebody and they're like this you know kind of big, loud, boisterous kind of personality, or like they're you know they. Like, I wonder what that person was like when they were a little kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do they look mm-hmm. like? What do they sound like? I have this, you know. For sure. Like, yeah. the guy you said who was screaming at the Cold Stone Creamery. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, yeah. What's we his took, story? What is your I know. story that you are flipping <laughs> yeah, out at the Cold, Cold Stone? Stone? Yeah, we took the kids to uh, get some ice cream <laughs> on Saturday. And I'm, in, in front of me is this dude. And he's sitting there. Patiently, he didn't say anything until he got to the counter and he picked a fight with the woman Unleashed. behind the counter because apparently the woman behind the counter had kicked him and his wife and their French bulldog out of the Cold Stone Creamery because it wasn't a service dog. They just wanted to bring their French bulldog into the Cold Stone. They said, nope, can't be in here. And he flipped out. There's another guy with his family there. Now, keep in mind, both these dudes are Mexican, okay? So the one guy... It's like, come on, man, just be cool. Like, don't give her a hard time, whatever. Just, you know, get your ice cream and, you know, go enjoy yourself or yeah. whatever. Well, this guy, when he came, he came. So the wife and the bulldog, the French bulldog are now outside. He comes back in. Now he's in line right in front of me and my kids. And he gets up to the counter. He starts his big thing. He goes, do you want to see the pair? How do you know it's not a service dog? She goes, that's not a service right. dog. He goes, oh, he goes, do you want to see? You didn't ask him to see his papers. He's not, he's not here legally. He's an illegal. What? Jeez. And the, this other guy was just like, just trying to make light. Everybody's there with their kids getting ice cream. Like, dude, you're going like, to fight. who are you? You're going to make a big right. fight about having a French bulldog. And like, you want to bring your dog into the cold stone so badly. Mm-hmm. Anyway, she's Christ. like, I don't have time for this tonight. Get out. <laughs> and she kicked him out. Good for her. Like, yeah. What? He's like, why? why? I just want ice cream. He goes, I didn't she, order. She goes, not from here. Yeah. Right. Get Plenty out. Of other shops. Yeah. Exactly. Later. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder about that. All like, the time. this is the yeah. battle. They, they always say, yeah. like, you know, you know you're going to die on this. Uh-huh. This is the hill you're willing to die on? Yeah. Bringing your stupid dog into the cold stone? Crazy. And now you're getting this poor other guy who's just trying to, like, you know, look, hey, man, everybody's having a good time here. Just can you? Right. Come on, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're not, you're not spending your, the whole get day Get your ice there. cream. Enjoy. He said, get your ice cream. Enjoy yourself outside. Right. Did I you know. check his papers? He's illegal. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> Give Jeez. the dog to the wife. She's yeah. outside. <laughs> right. Order your ice cream yeah. and go. And, oh, and uh, be done with it. Yeah. And that was the other thing. So he walks out. He gets kicked out. He walks out. The entire time that we were sitting outside eating our ice cream, there he was sitting at one of the tables with his wife and their dog. They were, like, refusing to leave. You're not getting ice cream. <laughs> wow. Well, we're going to post gonna, up here. You're going to wait it out when he tried oh, to yeah. intimidate the poor teenage girl <laughs> behind the counter? Like, Doing mix-ins? Because I'm that stubborn. <laughs> God. <laughs>